blueberry banana gluten-free waffle. We are working with Clover Sonoma to make it today. I also am working with Clover Sonoma, and they are a family-owned and operated dairy in Northern California. About Which I a, love. a half an hour away from where. So they're close to you. They're really, local. Literally, we passed the cows. This year alone, they launched these amazing ready-to-drink moon milks, which my family loves. They're made of 2% organic milk, botanicals and spices. They're absolutely phenomenal. You can see over here, there's three different flavors. One has hibiscus, one has turmeric, but the one we're working with today is the Blue Moon Blueberry, Blueberry Lavender Milk. And I gotta tell you. I mean, this is a big deal for a lot of families, yes. right? I remember this as a kid. It's a great product. I used to open that little package that yeah. I put inside the milk. I didn't know where the, my mom didn't know where the milk was coming from because right. it was just cheap. And to tell you the truth, the great thing about it is the product is something I can drink, my kids can drink, and that's it's what fun. we- It's fun. This is stuff that's got a pleasant flavor that's actually of benefit to your body. Absolutely, right. there's a lot of benefits, and we'll get to that. So when I write these recipes, I'm like, I'm gonna make the most amazing double down blueberry banana gluten-free wow. waffle with with a blueberry compote. So what's cool about this is no sugar. We're using the natural sugar in the bananas to ripen this. So this I is great for the family. I hear you. Now we're gonna take the egg yolks. The egg whites are on the other side of Rach in the mixer. And this is how I elevate and lighten the waffle. So that's all mixed together. It's gonna take one and a quarter cup of moon milk. And this is where we're gonna incorporate that flavor, that blueberry and that lavender. Blueberry lavender. Yes, and with 2% organic milk, that's what's clutch. And it's gonna take a little quarter more. There's the Rachel Ray measuring baking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That goes inside there. And now I wanted to make it gluten-free and a lot of stores have gluten-free flour. I'm totally down for it, but we can make our own and this is how you do it. So you take the cassava flour and then almond flour. Almond meal goes inside. A little bit of baking powder. So here's what we're gonna do. We're now gonna take our egg whites. Our egg whites go in. Do any of these go uh, in? Those are gonna go in at the end because okay, I okay. use dried blueberries and frozen blueberries. If you were to use whole fruit when doing this, what happens is whole fresh fruit, it'll break and then it'll kind of uh, make a hot mess. Gotcha. What, but when you use frozen, it's even better. Gotcha. I whip the egg whites to a stiff peak. How do you tell if it's a stiff peak? Well, I wanna make sure I do this to myself. Yes, it's sticking to the pin. I was gonna it do it. Sticks. <laughs> Thank you, brother. <laughs> so instead of cream of tartar, which is gonna allow you to get that peak, I add just a little lemon juice. Nice. And then what Olive and I do in the kitchen, and she oh, says sorry, this, honey. watch, she goes, Daddy, mix and cut. Mix and cut, Aww. and as, it's kind of like rotating the bowl. And one trick a lot of people want to do is don't over mix this. You actually want to see right, overhead Right, because you want to keep, you want to keep the air, the, the aerated little, uh, egg whites. Right. Exactly, little air pockets. Last but not least, frozen blueberries go in. Dried blueberries go in. Then you fold these guys in. And I always add the butter and the fat at the end because if you add butter or fat when you're doing it with milk and eggs, mm. it could curdle it or it could not let it come all together. So when I add the butter at the end like this, this waffle mix goes inside a waffle iron. You spray this goodness in here, you overload these bad boys. You want too much in there, huh? Yeah! All right, so you see how it kind of has the almond flour is kind of moving all the way around, the egg whites. Nice. And trust me, until you cook this and you see all those little nooks and crannies, if mm. you mix it too much, you're gonna be able to use it as a doorstop. Right. If you do what I did right here, low and slow and delicious, they're gonna look I sexy. Mean, huh? Crazy. Before we jump over there, I wanna show you guys real quick. What I love about this is I love incorporating Clover Sonoma inside all of my breakfast tips and everything I do in the morning because it has 25% of your daily calcium in this guy wow. and nine grams of protein. Yeah. And it has all the herbs and spices. Last but not least, what we the have, compote. The compote, frozen blueberries again. Don't go buy fresh if you don't have them. Use what you have, even dry or freeze dry will work really well with this too. The frozen blueberries go right in. A little bit of maple syrup goes inside here. And nice. then a little bit of lemon juice. Lavender goes in here. It's all about reinforcing the dish. Now granted, that's a little bit more lavender than usual, but I wanna see it, I wanna taste it because the milk has it in it. This cooks down and look at this compote, mama. Gorgeous. Hotty hot, be careful. I so, got you, I got you. So you take these amazing, delicious Clover Sonoma Blue Moon Milk Waffles, you top them off with fresh blueberries, freeze dry blueberries. Do you wanna put a little bit of the oh, doodad yeah. on there? A little doodad is also known as almond butter. And then the hot blueberry compote! <laughs> Little bit of maple syrup if you want. Boom, chicka, boom, boom. Boom, chicka, boom, boom.